You might be wondering what's going on with the GC8. All you're doing, Mike, is working on the STI. Ah, well, let me tell you, iWire has been taking care of the harness. We sent the harness to them. It came back. It's at DNL Performance right now, and they're coming this morning to pick up the GC8. Check it out. Ah, oh, hear that sound? Oh, guess what time it is. Look at that. There's a there's a hauler out here and a diesel. I think I know what they're here for. It's time to have the GC8 done with some wiring. That's uh, Darnell and Chris from DNL Performance. Hey, there they are. What's going on? What's guys? going on, man? What's up? Hey, man. Nice to see you. Yep. They're here to uh, take the GC8 up to Gainesville and do some wiring on it. Now, take a good look at this car and the way it is right now, um, especially the, uh, the interior. All of this is going to come back and basically the interior and the wiring is all going to be turnkey for me. So what we got to do is we just got to move this over, uh, get it up on the quick jack. I got to get the STI out of here and uh, once we get it up on the quick jack we can get it off the wheel stands and then get it on the trailer. One of the things that's fun about the STI, and you guys don't really get to see this, is cold starts in the morning. This thing is stupid loud. I'm sure the neighbors just love it. and pull this thing over and then we're gonna get it on the quick jacks. Oh. Actually, rolls quite easy. Okay, so we need to go that way a little bit. And we're good. Alright, so I think I got the quick jack set right. That's just the nutcase of wiring in there, man. It's still like drives me nuts to even look at it. <laughs> it's a mess. I really appreciate you guys uh, taking this on. Uh, okay. Not too many people would uh, <clears throat> take this on, let alone be excited to work on it, just from the, the sheer aspect of uh, how complex the situation turned out to be. Do you know where the wiring was in the building? Um, let's see. Uh, can you check the quick jack over on your side? And let me know if it's on the seam welds. Or at least. Yeah, we're on. You good? Yeah. Yeah. You know, one thing watching this thing work in the video, but actually seeing it in person is. It's, it's cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good to go back down. Yep. Just push you in. I'll let you roll down the hill. Okay. It's got a magnetic uh, yeah. post on it. Yeah. Boy, I can at least see something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta put the camera down. We gotta push this car in. <laughs>
to give us a quick rundown of basically like how the car sits right now and then what you guys have planned? Yeah, basically we're going to be uh, just pulling that rat's nest of a harness out. We've already got your uh, your uh, wiring harness for my wire sitting there ready. I've already got the other spare car sitting there ready to go. So basically we're just going to be pull, getting that out, getting your new one in, and then taking whatever you know sensors and relays and stuff that aren't in your car already from the other parts car. So basically... What you guys are doing for me is you're eliminating all of my headache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. And uh, right. after we're finally, you know, done with the harness, we're gonna, you know, temporary set a motor in, yeah. fire it up, make sure everything's good with it, pull it right back up, oh, deliver that's it right awesome, back to you. Man. Wow. Yeah. That is really cool, and that's one of the reasons why uh, I know a lot of you guys are like, no, don't send the car out. It's like, well, when you find somebody that's really good at what they do, and they can do something that, I mean, yeah, I could have tried to do it myself, but the problem is with wiring say I encounter something that is messed up down the road well I'd have to go through because in the back of my head I would be thinking that it was a wiring gremlin because wiring is something that's very complex for me when that happens when you run into stuff like that sometimes it is actually smarter to outsource it to people that know what they're doing because then you'll have peace of mind so uh, I found Darnell and he's got a really really good reputation he's a DNL performance in Gainesville um, he he really is good with Subaru OEM stuff. Like you've got, you're telling me about the tools. Yeah, I got three got. Subaru OEM scan tools. Yeah, yeah. So no, that, no, no, no. <laughs> that's awesome. And like when you're doing wiring and stuff, you want somebody that's very well versed in uh, in the OEM aspect of the car. Um, not, that's not to say that they can't do performance stuff too, because they can. But what I really liked about them was their experience with working on Subarus. How many Subarus would you say you've worked on? Man, more than I yeah, think. Thousands? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we got quite See? a few. <laughs> Man, it, 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 I, I, couldn't, I couldn't possibly tell you. Yeah. And not only that, but he also has a, uh, an RSTI build himself. So uh, he's really well known within the, uh, the GC8 community, well respected guy. and. Uh, I'm really excited that the car is going to him. Dude, you are going to save me tons of headache and disaster. Oh, man, that's what we're here for. Thank you so yeah, much. I appreciate you letting us do it. <laughs> we're excited to work on it. Thank you, Chris. So that's it. Uh, next time you guys see the car, um, it's going to be up at their shop. We're going to get to see a little bit of time-lapse footage. And, uh, yeah, she's going to come back and be turnkey as far as wiring and chassis stuff goes. And... Um, Man, I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it's finally making this kind of progress. I, honestly, dude, I never thought that this car would make progress at this point. No, man, I was pretty discouraged. I mean, just got to find the right people. Yeah. You know, it's basically what it boils down to. It's just the people who are confident in their work, take care of the customer. You know, that's sure. what we're going to do. Thank yes. you, man. All right, well, bye-bye, GC8. <laughs> when you come back, you'll be a whole new girl. <laughs> yeah, the dash, wiring harness, and all. Uh.